Ever wondered how hackers can kick you off from your own Wi-Fi network? So hello guys, welcome to Payload Labs. Today we are diving into Wi-Fi hacking using Kali Linux and some powerful tools. So stick around because you are about to learn how attackers can disconnect you from your own Wi-Fi network. Before we get started, a quick disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. Unauthorized network attacks are illegal and can get you into serious trouble. Only practice these techniques in a controlled lab environment. To demonstrate these attacks, we are using terabytes TBWD1111 network adapter which supports packet injection and monitor mode, a key feature for Wi-Fi and various other network related attacks. So let's go to our Kali Linux and connect our adapter to our virtual machine. Go to Devices, USB and connect it from there. Type ifconfig to confirm it. Before we proceed, we need to update our systems with sudo apt update. Since I've already done it, I won't be doing it again. Now moving forward, let's enable monitor mode using airmon ng. This mode allows us to capture all the wireless packets, even those not intended for us. Type iwconfig to verify if a new interface has been set into monitor mode. Now that we are into monitor mode, let's run Wi-Fi, a powerful Wi-Fi hacking tool. With the command sudo Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi will scan for all networks and attempt to capture handshakes or to perform deauth attacks. After selecting the target network, press Ctrl C to stop the scan. You can select multiple targets by separating them with commas, but since we only have permission to attack one network, we'll be attacking network number 3. Observe how Wi-Fi has already started the attack and has obtained WPS pin. This pin is essentially a backdoor to access the router's WPA, WPA 2PSK password. If the WPS attack fails or the target does not have WPS enabled, Wi-Fi will automatically switch to the authentication attack by disconnecting a client and capturing their handshake when they reconnect to the network, and then crack the password by dictionary attack using a predefined word list to brute force the password. Now let us move on to post exploitation, and I'll show you how you can use Evil Limiter to perform ARP poisoning and shut down network access of other users. The scary part about this? You don't even need a network adapter, all you need is the evil limiter. Now we'll go to github and just git clone it from there. I've already installed it in my machine so I'll just go to evil limiter but you guys have to install it first with the git clone command. After installing the tool, type cd evil limiter to go to the evil limiter directory. Start the tool by the command sudo python3 bin slash evil limiter. Once the tool is visible in the terminal, type question mark and evil limiter will dump all the commands that you need to know. Type scan and evil limiter will start scanning for all the devices or hosts available in your network. Once the scan is completed, type hosts and evil limiter will display all the hosts or devices connected in your network. To demonstrate this, I am using another Kali Linux machine and will be blocking this machine's internet. After confirming that internet is working in our victim machine, we will go to our attacker machine. With a single command block and the ID of the victim machine, we will completely shut down the internet of the victim machine. To confirm this, we will go back to the victim machine and we will try to access internet. As you can see, we are trying to access internet in the victim machine but there is no response. To free this victim machine, we will use the command free. 
along with the ID of the victim machine, just the way we blocked it. After allowing internet access to the victim, we will go back to the victim machine and we will try to access internet to see if it is free or not. So internet is here, allowed in the victim machine. Magic, right? Wanna know what happened? ARP poisoning. Let me show you in Bioshock. Let's start by capturing packets on the interface ETH0. After blocking the internet of the victim's machine once again, we will go to the victim's machine and perform a Google search. Going back to Wireshark, we can see a lot of packets coming from the victim. The victim's machine has been tricked into thinking that we are the router. Therefore, all the packets being generated by the victim is being sent to us and not the actual router. And Evil Limiter is dropping each and every single one of them. Hope you like the video. Comment down if you are facing any issues. Like and subscribe to Payload Labs to enjoy more content like this.